Hey guys, it's Ken Jacobs here once again. Um, today I wanted to shoot a quick video on this uh, corefoundation.dll file error. We've been getting a lot of uh, support requests and emails and, um, and help tickets and such regarding this particular DLL file error. So I wanted to make a quick video and I also uh, made a uh, post on my blog. If you click the link below the video, and it'll take you to my blog and um, and you can follow along with the step by step on exactly how to get this fixed up. Um, the core foundation.dll is a it's a dynamic link library from Apple. Um, it's typically used with the iTunes software, so it's pretty prominent. Um, if you're getting any core foundation.dll file messages, um, then there's a really high probability that it's um, the problem actually lies in your registry. Um, you may see something like, you know, file core foundation.dll is not found, or this program requires the DLL file which wasn't found in your system, or the file is missing, or something completely different. As long as it's referencing core foundation.dll, then we pretty much know it's a registry problem. Um, to fix this, um, what you need to do is just click the link below. It'll take you to my blog post. Um, where I walk you through the step-by-steps on exactly how to get this fixed. It should only take about five or ten minutes at the longest, um, and you should be back on the road pretty quickly. Um, if you run into any problems or um, you need some extra help, shoot me an email or a private message or something like that, and I can walk you through it. Um, I don't anticipate you um, having any problems. I made it pretty straightforward. But um, if you do, of course, shoot me an email or a private message. I'll do what I can to walk you through it. So just click the link below, follow the instructions, and you should be good to go. Um, I hope this helps. I'm sure it does, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.